What are you doing, Dilly? RC. Oh, your knee is going to be like mush. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I kind of forgot to put that in. You forgot to put your battery clip in. <laughs> oh, crap. Hopefully, it didn't eat through the battery cable. So, you got to go down and get yourself a clip. Yeah. Okay. We'll be back in a moment. Well, today is the day. The very first ever time that this truck will have a trailer put on them. So, let's fire them up. Give you a nice grimy cold start. Uh, oh yeah, okay, so trailer is there. Should be ready to go. I locked myself out. Noob. Okay. So today is a big day. Oh no, my key's all messed up here. There. Today, of course, is the big day that we pick up this mysterious thing that I've been on and on about for this whole week. So. Let's see, it's the first time I've had to back this truck up into a trailer. Down there somewhere. I wish the cameras were just a little bit clearer. And I, maybe the lens is a little dirty, but I just gave it a wipe off not too long ago. But just wish they were a little bit clearer. So. Ugh. Like I gotta go up, up a hair a little bit with the trailer. Truck's just a little bit too high. Oh, about a ball ball height. Come on, let go. There we go. Okay, we gotta come back about two, three inches at the most there, which is basically like. Settling. <laughs> this thing, uh, my other truck, the, the the camera would stay on. As soon as you put it out of gear, and this one's gone. Oh, I should have come back a little more, but we might be able to rescue that. Might be able just to pull it on a bit here. Ah. Mm -hmm. I have to get my key before I forget. Key, 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 key. Somewhere in here is my key. I don't remember which one it is now, but anyway, we'll try those ones. Probably these ones. <laughs> hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's on. We already have our coupler locked there. And uh, I haven't uh, tested the brakes with the truck here yet. Wish they would uh, change the way they do their latching on here. It's, it's not the easiest to get on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now this guy can come right up. This truck didn't come with the brake controller in it <clears throat> when I bought it. Doesn't make sense. Or they give a truck a really good towing capacity. 
they don't give you uh, something that'll operate brakes. <laughs> that makes sense. A little more. I guess I had to put her down a whole lot in the mud here. Okay, that's locked. I'll just uh, wind this in tight. So it's not, you know, flopping around. That's not too bad. Okay. Our wires. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Oh, something just chimed in the truck there, so that's, I guess, good. And our breakaway cable control guy thingy here. Okay. I think we're... Oh, tailgate. Still down from... Unloading them stoves. Nice tailgates, nice and light. I like it. Hopefully this uh, whoa, thing we're getting doesn't go through the tailgate. It shouldn't, but... Because this tailgate has quite a, an arc to it, I'd have to straighten that arc out and bend these, right? So, should be, should be all right. All right, let's try going up to the top here. Maybe we'll test our lights. Hopefully everything's all good. Hopefully they hooked all that up for me. I would assume they would have. The truck is flashing. Come on, come on trailer. Oh yeah, buddy. Left is flashing. Presume the right will be flashing. All right, I'm going all the way back here again. It's a lot of legwork when you got to, you know, check everything, especially you had to do logs. Yeah, the right is flashing. That's good. Now, one thing I'm wondering if they've also hooked up for me when they hook that up is the charging circuit to charge like a battery on your travel trailer, say. Okay, let's turn on the running lights. It should be on, yeah. So we got one here. Orange, orange. Everything back here should be red, red, red. And uh, red, 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 red. And red, red. So they're all on, orange on. Orange on. Sweet. Probably should check the brake as well, but I don't really have a way to actuate that. Maybe if I sit in it, push on it, and run back real fast, I'll be able to see it. I don't think that's going to work. Uh, so, maybe I'll ask Dilly to help me. But anyways, let's uh, pull in here. Oh, bang off the mud. And... Uh, brake. Park brake off. Okay. Oh yeah, that must be working. Yep. She's working. Now, under here, under towing, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Trailer status is zero. <laughs> Trailer sway control. See, they put all that on, but they don't put a brake controller on it. That doesn't make sense. No active trailers. I have to set up all that. Oh, man, I'm not taking all that crap in. <laughs> I just have to know where to set it. 
Uh, it's probably different with every vehicle, but these are actually pretty smart. Even a connection checklist, cool. Let's look through that conventional. Coupler is locked, yes. Electrical wiring connected, yes. Lights function correctly, yes. Safety chains connected, yes. Tongue jack raised, yes. Mirrors adjusted, don't need to, but yes. Trailer gain access adjusted, sure. Okay, so yeah, so this should uh, change with the plus and minus down here. So now we're down to like eight, seven, six, five. Now it doesn't show me. Uh, might actually have to sit and do this. Uh, add the trailer. Trailer options, add trailer. Uh, uh, we'll just call it. Oh my goodness, hang on. I'm not gonna put you through all this. Okay, so we just put in the name. That took forever. Lots of pushing buttons. So default electric surge, none. It's not electric over hydraulics, so. Okay, brake effort. Oh boy, I don't know. Medium? It's a conventional. Dead trailer pro back trailer backup assist. No thanks. Okay, so select trailer flat. Uh, rename trailer. Reset trailer distance at pro. Okay, so trailer status. There we go. That's the screen I was looking for. So when I push the brakes on, probably gonna be in gear. Coming up with a little uh, there, but you don't put on the hmm. well, that's kind of weird. Everything's moving good, so we'll uh, just get out here and I'll just uh, lock them up briefly and just make sure both left a skid mark. Stopped us, so that's good. Okay, let's we'll shut her off for a minute and let's go look at some skid marks. Well, it looks like that one skidded, that one skidded, so that's good. I guess they're locking up. Of course, it'd be a lot different with weight on it, but uh, that one skidded, that one skidded, so we're good. All right, I think we're ready to rock. Are you jumping it? Are you jumping it? Jump it, jump it. A lot of leaves out there. Holy bud. You ever get a rake? <laughs> oh, nice. Let's do a, let's do a not eat me in the face jump here. Not hit me in the face. Oh, man, that sounds like it's hurt on itself. Oh, the old four by four splash, eh? Whoa, easy, easy. Take the old man out. That thing, it's got uh, you know, all the slash tires on it. They're so, there's no grip or ruggedness to them. It really doesn't get any traction. It just spins the whole way. Wait a minute, Dale. Let's look at the tires. Yeah, see, they're kind of crappy. But anyways, wherever you go, they spin. Three selling it makes it spin uncontrollably. Kind of funny. But anyways, we're almost ready for our departure and uh, we'll head her out here. Oh, nice. All right, off we go. Gonna pick up my uh, stepdad there. Take him with me. Oh, I don't need that much brake on, I don't think. Jeez, I hope that is working. It's coming on if I really stomp on him. Turn that right up to 10 again. Oh, something's not something's not quite configured right here. Let me pull out of the way here from this guy coming in. Let me do some work on this because that should have come on a little harder there. And uh, we'll 
get her figured out. Well, I set that uh, brake, what the heck was it? Um, brake. Let me try electric over hydraulic. Jeez, I don't know what's going on here. See, I'm pushing it really hard down there. I'm only getting one guy come on there. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> it's on gain 10, but output, maybe it's, I don't know, it shouldn't, shouldn't be able to sense the weight on it. It's got me a little bit concerned here. I don't know. Electric surge, none. And, uh, oh boy, uh, what else did I change here? Brake effort I put to high. Let's try low. It's still about the same. It's only come on as one thing, so I don't know if I like that. Try other options. Oh, this is crazy. Well, they are locking up, so I guess we'll go with that. I'm going to to turn this down again though because as soon as I touch it it seems to lock up which is a good thing I usually run it around one with this empty because it's so bloody light this trailer you don't really need any brakes on okay I think we're good well hopefully we're good we'll know when we put uh, this uh, 45 whatever hundred pounds on here see if it uh, assist us in stopping oh we're on our way just had to stop for a little bit of Mennonite nourishment oh man good place there it's nothing like Mennonite food to make you gain weight though. That's yeah. really good, but <laughs> that's very greasy, very oily, but it's good. Anyways, uh, yeah, we're almost there. I gotta text the feller, tell him we're, we're almost there. All right, oh, horse and buggy, cart thingy guy. Hmm. We're in Mennonite country, that's for sure. So we are here in the town that we are picking this thing up at. Oh man, their gas is more expensive up here. Dollar nine nine. Holy. And we'll go and see these people here, and uh, we want to maybe take it for a little spin on the road just to listen for any funny noises, you know? Because right now we're as it's sitting, we've only heard it run kind of thing when we came up the other day. So, uh, yeah, we'll get into the house and have a look and load her up and head her home. Oh, and we'll pay for it, too, of course. Turn left onto Young Street West, Whoa. then turn right onto Webb Street. Okay. All right, I don't know whether you can see in that mirror or not, but it is loaded and it just fits. <laughs> it's pretty wide on the rear end of that thing. And yes, it is a tractor, but... We'll wait till we get home to uh, show you what tractor it is. I uh, better set up my brakes here. Uh, I'll put them up to, well, uh, see if it's like the other truck, you put it right up to full and it only uses what it needs kind of thing. Ooh. Hopefully we got enough brakes. And, uh, yeah, maybe I can see in the mirror. Hard to see, isn't it? You can see yourself. Anyways, we'll head her home. Hopefully, it's not white knuckling on the way home. And uh, oh, oh, we should be good. I might have to set them brakes up again. Yeah. <laughs> see if that mirror will show you anything else here. Oh, might have seen something there. Uh oh. All right, let's head her home. Well, she's towing right along. Doesn't feel too bad. Feels kind of similar to the big travel trailer except maybe not quite as much of a wind drag we'll say um, but it's definitely still following us <laughs> Something, something's following us so uh, yeah we're uh, on our way home and uh, hopefully when we get home it's not too dark to show you because as you guys know from the video the other day I don't have any yard lights because the Facebook freaking people screwed me up anyways we'll, <laughs> we'll get home and see what we can do well, we made it home. All good. Just enough light. Just enough light. <laughs> She's getting dark though. 
and uh, we made her home here and uh, it is finally time for the big unveiling revealing unveiling revealing revealing unveiling of what it is we've been on about this whole week so this thing also does have a battery in it and it's a six volt battery and it's a battery from 2011 so uh it's got a little bit of a battery issue we'll say it needs a new battery i've got my charger on it i'm gonna try to charge it up here for a bit i don't know if my charger is going to be good enough i'm using seriously honestly my rc car battery charger for charging this because i don't have anything that'll charge six volt myself I've got my big uh, no no co one, but it's 1224 volt. It won't charge six, so I don't want to overjuice the battery and have uh, battery parts all over me. So, anyways, we'll show you the tractor. Whoops! Yeah, we'll show you the tractor right now, and uh, hopefully I can get the battery to juice up a little bit. At least I can get it to start. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but anyways, here we go. Oh, it's such a nice, beautiful sky and a beautiful... I know, I know. Okay, ready? Here we go. Set. Ready? Fire. One, two, three. A, B, C. John Deere AR 1947, I do believe. Um, now, let's go over it. It's got tires, right? You can ride on it. I'll show you that in a second. It has a gas engine. Big two-cylinder. It's a freaking bigger uh, cubic inch than this truck, believe it or not anyways but less horsepower so uh anyways yes two twin cylinder um belt pulley and stuff you can run a belt off the side i don't think this one well since it's been restored and ever has um i don't know what's been done on it if the fella who owned it before did a whole huge job on it i don't know it does run i have heard it run of course and um i tried to start it here and it ran for about uh 20 seconds and then i didn't get on the I let the choke off too fast and then it flew and then I tried to start it again I must have choked it too much and flooded it so I've been trying to get it to go but the battery is kind of poochy in it and uh, it's not so good so but uh, anyway it's a John Deere AR one of my absolute favorite it is one heavy brute of a freaking tractor I don't even know if you got it all in the shot here it's getting dark we're losing light I don't know if we're gonna be able to start it today I'm thinking probably not but Anyways, uh, there's a few problems that needs to be addressed. Um, there's two fuel tanks. This one here, little guy back here, and I think you'd start it off gas, and then the big main fuel tank, you'd run it off kerosene once it got started. Of course, kerosene's worth more than gas here in Canada now, so we'll be just running it on gas. Uh, that's a fuel shut off. Now, it leaks. Got these compression fittings, one there. There's one back on the little tank and uh, there's a couple little things here on the on the carburetor itself that are leaking so uh, these little bolly valves here are a decompression uh, I guess because it's such a low a low spinning engine with that six volt that you need to uh, decompress the engine so you'll hear them which is pretty cool actually uh, looks like at one time you could have cranked it with a big handle but I really wouldn't want to do that um it's a six volt positive ground and i was doing a bit of reading on why they did positive grounds way back then why not negative grounds like everything else positive ground was well one of the things i remember reading anyways they said it was uh, better for the tractor not rusting I'm like okay <laughs> so uh she's 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 probably got i think original tires on it this one's not too bad but there's a lot of cracking and checking in them you know weather cracks and stuff she's uh, she's definitely she's definitely probably original tires I'm thinking this one's fairly bad here I don't think you'd want to put that into a tractor pull you might uh, rip that tire right off of there when she uh, smushed down and started pulling but uh, yeah so let's get up on the trailer here she hauled home pretty good this is your working area here of course see you can sort of sit on it you might fall off <laughs> It's actually not too bad once you get on there so um, I haven't figured out any, everything on myself but I'm like oh there's no clutch but it's a hand clutch so that's your that's your hand clutch guy there uh, of course steering wheel these have no ignition switches or anything it's all done by pulling this knob just to crank it pretty corny but it worked I guess um, this was I guess fire extinguisher buddy had maybe put on there the original maybe I don't know throttles up here this is your gear selector 
and I think this one here is a high low range and there's one I think I can't quite see it here I think this one here is for the PTO we could actually run a PTO off of this guy so that's kind of cool right now right under here PTO so I mean when I was saying about the paints not the green you're thinking I think someone's repainted this but they've used paint from TSC and it's just not quite right it's a little darker we'll get it out in the Sun here of course when the Sun's out next and uh, have a look but you know all the stickers are nice um, it does run <laughs> honestly it does run we obviously got it on the trailer somehow right so I mean the, the tins all really good I don't know if buddy bought it like this or if he did a bunch of work the metals really good like there's nothing all bashed or beat in or anything got my little charger juice in here I don't know if I should go with a higher amperage or not I'll have to get a better this is my RC car battery charger it does uh, it does everything this thing it does uh, lithium-ion polymer battery life batteries nickel metal nickel cadmium lead acid which this is charge discharge cycles does all kinds of good stuff so it's probably gonna do it but let's uh, get things out of the way here and uh, I don't think anything's gonna interfere with anything over there I just don't this whole flywheel turns right when you when you crank it so I just want to crank it and see if she'll do anything it's only been on charge for about 10 minutes maybe so uh, something here might get tangled up so we'll put it uh, I'll put it back over here maybe there might have to go get myself a little better of a charger so uh, okay I know it's probably not gonna have enough juice because I, I had it running I did have it running when I got it home but I uh, oh, gotta make sure that other decompression valve is open we can at least crank it over yeah that one's open so you got to get it started once it runs and start and keeps running you got to go and shut these valves off um, but I don't think it's gonna have enough juice I don't think it had enough juice to draw the fuel through at least it seemed to be pretty died pretty quick but this is a uh, I don't know if you can see but 10 11 scratched out January February March April May June July August 2011 they bought that so 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 <laughs> it's an like eight-year-old battery probably not too much good darn it I should have brought my tester up but it's got to be charged up fully but anyways everything I think is out of the way that's our choke I'm gonna see if it'll do anything here so all you got to do is just pull this little knob out it's kind of scary and it is out of gear yeah no I'm not got enough juice in the battery not enough juice uh, when it's cranking good you'll actually see like vapor whoosh, out of these things so I'll have to leave her probably get a better charger darn it she's just not enough well you know what let's just give her one more shot it actually might not be turning over fast enough to spark either so it's got to go a little faster than that I know I could put a 12 volt onto it but don't really want to do that uh, so we'll just give it a bit of choke crank it here oh. no it's not even drawing fuel up so hmm actually that would be closed there hang on, let's try once more here no she's just not drawing fuel not drawn so uh, I guess we'll have to maybe get a new battery it's also like bulged too so uh, I'll leave this on maybe for a wee bit well we're really losing our light here so uh, we might be screwed we're supposed to get freezing rain tonight too so that's just freaking fantastic and not looking too good but anyways we'll we'll have to get a new battery six volt battery for it I guess probably just go get a TSC special again 1500 bucks for a battery no doubt uh i'll look it up anyways but there we go that is what i've been on about all week <laughs> so hopefully you guys like 
like that. And uh, yeah, we just don't have enough juice. Don't have enough juice. Darn battery. Uh, I gotta figure out uh, all the little niches of starting this thing properly, right? Like how much throttle to have on and how much choke it likes. And you know, there's a lot of, I gotta learn a lot, so. But uh, uh, anyways, that is it. That is it. It's really good shape. Um, this was actually off Facebook, believe it or not. <laughs> I know I mentioned the other day, don't buy stuff off Facebook, but as I've been able to go see it, it was good. So, yes, lots of fun. It's going to be lots of fun. So, what on earth am I going to use this for? You're probably wondering. Well, we uh, do do a plow day. Unfortunately, most times they do it when I got to work. So, they'll do it on like a Tuesday at like 1 o'clock. So, that kind of sucks. Um, honestly, if it's going to run decent and I get it all figured out, if I've got a really nasty spot to dig back in the back here, um, I'm going to use it for pulling the trailer, my dump trailer, believe it or not, yeah. Uh, I'm going to hook a ball onto the back of this guy here, or there's already one on it actually, sweet! And uh, I'm going to uh, use it for that, so it should be able to haul that crap really good, I would think. Um, Hopefully it's not too low on the back here. The trailer might sit kind of funny, but uh, we can always make a new hitch for it if need be. I uh, actually made a hitch, believe it or not. Of course, I didn't show you guys. I made one of these today. One of these guys right here made one. Uh, bent the steel and cut the thing and drilled the holes and did it all up nice. I needed a, another one, so I'm like, oh, I can go buy one or I'll just go make one, so. Um, now, I'm going to make sure that that fuel is on or off there. I bet you I didn't even have it on there. It says off there, off, G and, looks like a G and an F. So, maybe we should try it with the fuel on. It's got to make a difference. I don't think it's cranking over enough to draw the fuel in. That's the problem. Okay, uh, open these guys again. Oh man, I wanted to start it up. It's a little bit nerve wracking though with uh, fuel dripping on your spark plug there. Coming out of the carburetor a bit too. There's a couple of seals I guess that need maybe maybe tightened up or redone or something. Um, that should be off I think, that should be on. So maybe we won't crank it right up. It's not going to have enough juice, I don't think so. Here we go. Pull the button. No. I have to get a new battery. Let's try it once more, just for fun. No. Come on, baby. Don't think we're going to be successful here. Lots of throttle on too. Maybe I don't need that much throttle on. This is the throttle here. So you crank this thing. It pushes this rod. And it's got like a spring thing on here. I guess that works onto the governor or something too. So let's try it once more. No. It's barely spinning over the flywheel. We're toast. I'm going to have to get a new battery. That's, that's the end of her for today. I'm sorry. I do apologize. But an 11 year old battery. Is that right? 11, 12, 13, 14, seven year old battery, eight year old battery. That's, that thing's junk. <laughs> junk. So, let's shut that off for now. So yeah, there's a real big tank. I hope it's all right under here. It feels pretty good. Somebody's gone over this, I think, but one thing I'm missing is a battery top cover. So that sucks. Now, I wonder if I could do this higher. Should go up to five amp. Yeah, six volt. Had to be juicing her. I'm gonna let her sit for maybe 20 minutes here or so. See if that does anything. Uh, I'm probably thinking it's not gonna do much, but look at the corrosion here too. That's funny. I don't know why it would have been doing that. Probably needs to come out of there, I think. 
if I can get it out. But uh, yeah, we're losing our light very fast. So if I can, I'll try to do a, a grimy cold start on it for you, but uh, I'm not holding my breath for tonight. Sorry, I do apologize, but batteries are batteries and you can't do much about them. Once they're dead, you're screwed. So we could uh, pull it off and pull it with the 110 TLB, but I need someone back there driving this thing too. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, anything else we got to look at on here? Um, I don't know. The little projects, you know, a little project for us. So I would have liked to have got it into my garage down there tonight, but uh, I don't think that's going to happen when I can't get it started. So, uh, oh yeah, and this is your brake pedal. It's actually locked right now. That's your brake pedal. And uh, it kind of almost didn't feel the greatest to me. Well, we might have to uh, figure that out, but there's a band brake, I think, under this cover. And it just kind of pulls on the band, and that's your brakes. That's your brake system. It's pretty uh, pretty simple, nice, easy to work on, you know. So we might have to replace them, because they didn't feel that great. Or maybe it just needs adjusted or something. I don't know. But anyways, uh, I showed you this side a bit. Great big radiator in it, and a huge mother hose, like a three-inch hose anyways, feeding it. So that's pretty cool. Now, the thing I don't understand is, oh, this is, uh, I'm trying to, I can't see things now here. This is, I guess, for the main tank. I'm losing, losing my light here, so, but it's funny that glass isn't filled. Let's go to the other side again here. I'm losing my light, that's no fun. The coolest thing ever though, well, it's not really cool, but this comes in with a John Deere painted, I guess cover for your for your exhaust so you don't get it full of crap i'm gonna need that for tonight because we're supposed to get freezing rain so uh let me get my uh phone dewey so that uh yeah these are these are joints so this actually doesn't have anything to do with the the float or the oh pardon me the fuel bowl there that comes out of the main tank and you turn the other valve on the other side on to turn that on so this one you turn on and it flows from that little line down into here and then down into this line here sorry <laughs> this line here and then into your carburetor so it is dripping though interesting so we're definitely getting fuel but I think I had it going there, it was running, and I just turned the choke off a bit too soon, or maybe I gave it too much and it kind of killed it. I didn't have a whole lot of throttle on, but that's a big block of metal to warm up, right? So it's gonna take a bit. That is off, it's just line leakage now. I'll have to go through that, I guess, and put new uh, fittings on. Compression fittings are probably leaking, unless I change it to something different. Uh, I don't know what, but something different and uh, yeah we'll have to look at that later on of course we'll have to do oh there's your brakes there there's the band brake and you can see that in there so it might just need to tighten down in here maybe pull it down a little more that'll bring it bring it tighter there's an adjustment bolt I see there of course it's all painted up but they probably need tightened so yeah now checking oil I'm not sure on this uh, <laughs> I think that big long stack thing there is the oil filler and then up here is the oil or uh, oil bath air cleaner it looked like a uh, oily kind of stuff down in there but where you check your oil I don't know I'm not sure yet I haven't found that it must be like a, a plug you pull out like somewhere along the edge of the block so when the oil comes out that's good which Oh geez, I don't know. Good thing I got some good old buddies there in our tractor club that can help me with that. I'm sure it's in along here somewhere. I don't know. I'm not too sure. Uh, the one old guy, he's got a manual for it too, which is good. So, but uh, anyways, losing our light. I'm going to let this run a few more minutes here. I don't think it's going to do anything. We're going to have to get a new battery first for it. That sucks. But anyways, we'll see what happens in a few minutes here.
if you can really see this on the screen probably not i'm going to read some stuff out to you here anyways uh here i got a list of serial numbers and years so this looks to be a 1946 1946 47 uh from the serial number that's on it uh it's got a weird measurement here weight 475 to 6350 pounds so i think it's 4750 pounds maybe it's a little bit of a typo there i guess uh, rear pto is 540 fuel capacity is wow 16 gallons 60.6 liters auxiliary fuel like maybe that's that little guy the little tank is one gallon that sounds about right uh hydraulic system i think they're mean an engine oil is 7.9 liters Ooh, mama uh john deere so engine details i have to go into more there uh it's 5.3 liter two cylinder all fuels uh the ar is a standard front axle oh, you can't really see it now it's getting so dark bloody dark i don't think this thing's going to start tonight honestly so uh total ar built for 17,394 in waterloo iowa usa original price was 2350 Twenty-three hundred dollars in nineteen fifty-one, which was probably a lot of money back then. Engine, oh, I can't see that. Uh, engine, two-cylinder liquid cool horizontal twin, three hundred and nine cubic inch, five. Holy crap, five point one liter. Shut up, geese. Uh, bore and stroke is five point five zero times six point five zero. Uh, cooling system is a thermal siphon, oil bath cleaner, compression 3.96 to 1, rated RPM 975, firing order 1, 2, obviously, or it could be 2, 1 if you're going backwards, right? <laughs> cooling capacity is 30.3 liters, holy mother, 30,000 spark plug gap, you probably can't see this because it's so bloody bright, that's why I'm reading it out to you. Engine details, John Deere, I think we can run most of this, cubic oil bath, blah, blah, blah. okay. Transmission. So it's got uh, four gears. I think that there's a high range too, unless it's for something else. Maybe not. Anyways, first gear is two miles an hour, 3.2 kilometers an hour. Second gear is three miles an hour, 4.8 kilometers an hour. Third gear is four kilometers an hour, 6.4 mile, uh, four miles an hour, 6.4 kilometer. Fourth gear. See, I think there's only two on that. Interesting. Fourth gear, 6.3 miles an hour, 10.1 kilometers reverse is 3 miles an hour, 4.8. So, uh, there's not much else on transmission. Dimensions. This is an interesting one. Ooh. Uh, it goes into tire sizes. Uh, eggs rear. This will be interesting. The steel is 42.75 times 10. And 11.25 times 24, I guess they're different sizes of tires you can put on it. Weight is 4,750, I think, pounds. That's definitely not right because it says 215 kilograms. That's not right. And then the weight ballasted, I guess if you had wheel weights and stuff on it and loaded tires, would be 6,350 pounds. That's pretty heavy. 124 inches long, width is 64 inches, hood height 55 inches, rear, rear axle 2.75 inch diameter. Holy jeez front tread 48 inches rear tread 51.875 inches and that is about it for info so there you go there's your info for the night uh i don't i don't think this is gonna start I've had this going here for a while it's 1378 milliamps into it we'll give her a shot but i'm really thinking not it's not gonna start so uh, let me get my phone out so at least I have some kind of a light. If I had my Facebook lights here, we'd have parking lights. Imagine that nice concept. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Put that uh, compression valve. Darn, getting dark. Not compression. Oh, I'm probably going to have to go get a new battery for it tomorrow. I'm a thinking. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think everything's still clear. Yeah, that's up there still. Um, give her a bit of... 
bit of throttle here and a choke on I'm just gonna put the camera in my teeth so I got extra hands here we go hopefully see how well it cranks here oh I was really thinking of it dropped you on the ground I'm sorry I'm sorry I almost killed you oh no my battery unclipped no that battery is toast so I do apologize for tonight it does you kind of hurt a little bit of a fart out of it there it sounds pretty awesome we'll get a new battery for it and i'll do you a better video soon on it because i know you guys really want to hear this thing freaking sounds awesome when it starts that's why one of the things i really love them they just sound like fu power here we go with two cylinders it's ridiculous <sighs> so that battery is junk that battery is definitely junk, so we'll get rid of that battery tomorrow. If it's a nicer day, maybe. I mean, I don't get it tomorrow. If it's going to be freezing rain, all bloody day. Darn it. I really wanted to start that up for you. I'm really ticked. And I know I could hook a 12 volt to it, but it's getting too dark now. So we'll uh, call her a day. And I thank you guys for watching, and uh, we will catch you soon. I don't know if you can see me, probably not, but I'm here. We'll catch you soon. We'll get a new battery in this, and she should just fire like no problem. So uh, make sure everything's closed. Cap on. Stupid battery. I should maybe even just unhook that guy. I'll do that after here. Anyways, thanks again for watching. Catch you all later. This was the big mystery. Hopefully you enjoyed, and you'll even enjoy it more when it starts freaking thing but anyways i'll catch you later and you guys have a good day